say, generally speaking, a huge wake up call uh, for, for all of us, um, looking back to January's events in the United States. You know, the fact that a bunch of people, uh, a bunch of Americans could storm the Capitol um, without worrying about covering their faces, fully taking the, the, the photos and the videos where their full faces are shown, shows American naivete in how the real world works because there's only so bad that getting rounded up by the FBI can get in America. If you're doing that in another country, you know, you're going to get shot or tortured or your family is going to have something equally terrible happen to them. So I think generally speaking, there's a huge gap in the market on really good geopolitical, you know, understanding um, of how these environments uh, work. And there's a lot of reframing that's going on at tech companies to ensure that policy teams um, in some of the corners of the world uh, that you're talking about that are going to be some of the biggest challenges report directly to leadership rather than through a convoluted um, uh, developed market chain of command. So if you're the policy person trying to figure out what's going on um, you know, in, uh, in, in a country in, in Central Asia, your chain of command reports first through Eastern Europe and then through London and then through Washington DC before it gets out to California. We really have to think differently about who hears from who in order for us to chart through um, some of those deeper challenges. And I think that's very, very, very important. Mm -hmm.